Hello, embedded engineers, developers, and professional makers. Welcome to, in case you missed it, Embedded Insights, the weekly news show all about embedded technologies and solutions from embedded computing design. It's Friday, June 20th, 2025, and I'm Ken Briota, Editor-in-Chief of Embedded Computing Design and your host. And these are our top stories this week. First up, Nordic Semiconductor has announced its acquisition of the intellectual property and core technology assets of Newton.ai. This procurement will combine Nordic's NRF54 series ultra low power wireless SOCs, Newton.ai's neural network framework, with the goal of delivering scalable, high performance AI for machine learning at the edge according to the announcement. An exciting bit of news from the M&A world for you. Our next story comes up from the evolving world of high density storage. Everybody's talking about storage and memory right now. And in a column uh, published this week by Nikolaus Floros of Memphis Electronic, he outlines the advantages of the E2 SSD form factor developed jointly by the Storage Networking Industry Association, SNIA, and the Open Compute Project, OCP. Purpose built for ultra dense storage environments, he writes that E2 enables up to one petabyte, that's with a P, of QLC NAND flash per device, leveraging PCIe 6.0 NVMe within a compact thermal optimized footprint, which allow E2 SSD to offer rack space savings, energy efficiency, and a clear path to replace high cap HDDs for warm tier workloads. So check that column out, digs right into the weeds. Up next, we have a piece from Anil Gandharve, co-founder of Genrise.ai, who has written a column about the end of generative AI years to it and such content creation engines and the rise of agentic AI and its more powerful tools for accomplishing tasks. Now that's a big move into agentic and I think it's pretty exciting. Here's the big news from the RISC-V community. Sci-5 and Red Hat have made public a new collaboration between the two to bring Red Hat Enterprise Linux support to RISC-V. Very exciting. More, according to the release, Red Hat Enterprise Linux 10 is now available in developer preview on the Sci-5 Hi-5 Premier P550 platform, which is a lot to say and a lot to take in, but very exciting. Finally, we're featuring analog devices. Recent announcement of the formation of the Open GMSL Association, an initiative designed to revolutionize the future of in-vehicle connectivity, according to the release. The new Open GMSL Association reportedly will leverage ADI's Gigabit Multimedia Serial Link, GMSL, technology to create a worldwide standard intended to improve the service transmission of video and high-speed data in the automotive ecosystem. Uh, my car is excited for connectivity coming its way, but that's it for this week. Make sure you look for the In Case You Missed It LinkedIn newsletter for even more stories that you don't want to miss coming out every Monday on LinkedIn, where you can subscribe there. While you're at it, make sure you subscribe here on YouTube to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any of our shows. Visit EmbeddedComputing.com for all the news in the embedded space that you need to know and follow us on LinkedIn and across all the web so you don't miss out on any of our stories. Please reach out if you'd like to advertise on In Case You Missed It or DevKit Weekly or any of our shows. And it's all over now. Make sure you never miss an episode of In Case You Missed It, Embedded Insights. And I'll see you next week. Have a wonderful weekend.